Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well today. Today video I'm going to be talking about virtual hosts. I'm going to be using um, Linux Mint 12 and I'm going to use Apache as a web server. Before I start all the configuration, I'm going to switch in Spanish because I need to explain or give an explanation to my Spanish followers on my YouTube channel what I'm doing this in English and I come back to, to English just to continue all the configuration. Hola, ¿cómo están? Espero se encuentren bien. Este, voy a estar haciendo una serie de videos en inglés. No una serie, básicamente voy a estar posteando videos en inglés y en español de las mismas configuraciones. Esto es con el objetivo de este, familiarizarme más eh, con todas las expresiones en inglés, con toda la terminología en inglés, porque pues en un futuro de esto voy a vivir, decidí vivir mi vida en Canadá y tengo que envolverme eh, en toda esta Canadian culture o cultura canadiense. Ok, entonces este, esa es la, la razón por la que voy a estar haciendo estos videos y eh, en un futuro no sé si habrá un canal nada más para inglés y otro para español, pero este, voy a estar de todas formas marcando cuáles están en inglés y cuáles en español. La idea principal cuando abrí el canal fue ayudar a toda la gente que me sigue de habla hispana en diferentes países. Este, pero eh, sobre todo para toda la gente que va iniciando la carrera y que necesitan un empujoncito, que no entienden muchas cosas de networking, que no entienden cómo configurar cosas, mucha gente que quiere utilizar Linux pero le da miedo, esas son las razones por la que, las que abrí el canal de este YouTube y bueno para cuestiones de tecnología y todo eso, pero bueno voy a estar haciendo estas versiones en inglés y en español, espero que no les moleste y a los que les molesta pues que vamos a hacerle verdad bueno pues me voy a cambiar a inglés porque ya no tengo mucho tiempo y necesito hacer esa configuración ok guys come back I'm going to open my virtual machine here and I have to apologize because I don't have a fresh installation here I'm already running Apache and I already set the virtual host into my system but you know I just gonna walk through all the configuration all the specific files that we need to change in in order to 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 be able for you guys to set your own uh, web server okay so first thing yeah, that you're gonna do if you have a fresh installation is type the following command update and if like I say, if you have a fresh installation, just go and grab a pop, a coffee, or a tea, or whatever, because this is gonna be a long time for you if you just wanna wait at least 20 or 30 minutes uh, if you're running uh, Linux for the first time. Okay, I did it last night, so we don't need to wait 20 minutes. So after this, we're gonna run Apache. This is really, really basic installation of, of uh, virtual host. So I'm gonna type the the command install and the package Apache 2. So like I say I did it before <laughs> so uh, it's really really simple it, it doesn't take more than two minutes not even five minutes actually they only they will ask you if uh, if if you are okay they're gonna take some space from your hard drive are you okay that's a question that's the only question they ask you and then you say yes and that's it. Apache uh, Linux is going to be doing everything for you download all the necessary package installed into your system and actually they will they will run in Apache for you for the first time you, so you don't need to run the 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 script for for Apache. Okay? Well, after the first installation you need to just to check that everything goes perfect if Apache is running or not. So first thing is uh, check which IP address do you have. Type in the following command. In my case is this IP address. I'm just gonna copy the IP address, open the browser, paste it on, and that's it. And like uh, like uh, as you can see, Apache is running. Okay. So uh, because. Uh, we didn't run Apache actually, you know, the, the installation runs Apache for us. The next the next time that we restart Apache, you will see there is a little bit warning or error 
that it says that you need to set a full qualified domain name. So if you wanted this error or this warning disappear, we need to set the full qualified domain name in this in the following path. So etc Apache and httpd.com. Okay. So when you open this file, you will see it's empty. So we need to type this line. And I'm going to explain you what is the full qualified domain name. The full the full qualified domain name it has two components. One is the name of the your machine or your server, and the other one is the the domain that you want to be using in your local network. Uh, so <coughs> how you, I don't know. Some people they don't they don't even know what is the name of of their machines. So if you don't know, just type the following command and the second name here is the name of your machine in my case it's otokomai uh, it's a Japanese word means wapo or in English means handsome <laughs> okay <laughs> um, after you you uh, edit this file add this line just save it and run Apache this is a good opportunity for me to show you guys how to re reboot or reload the Apache diamond and that's it it's uh, everything goes perfect you won't receive any error any warning here and this is a clean Apache installation so after this we're gonna be running a virtual host but before we run in the virtual host I need to explain what is the virtual host is for so basically virtual hosts allow to Apache to represent different uh, web contents for different domain names in other words we were only running in our server one IP address but but Apache will be uh, smart enough to represent different contents uh, if I type for example www.domain1.com it will represent the website for uh, domain1 if I type www.domain2.com it will represent the website for domain two. So, but the end, everything is running in just one physical machine with only one web server running and the only one IP address. That's that's the the good thing from the virtual host. So basically, companies like providing hosting, they use these techniques to to set different clients. Okay. Um. So yeah. All the uh, all the um, configuration files for Apache are under the following path Apache ATC Apache 2 and this is the main configuration file this is the other one and there is the folder for all the modules in case that you need to enable uh, some uh, an extra modules and also we have another two folders which is the virtual host okay so I'm gonna open the first one which is sites available and if you're running Apache for the first time you only see you only will see these three files but uh, that means I create these two files by myself actually the name of the file it doesn't really matter um, the 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 thing that matters is what is inside of, of uh, these files. So I'm going to open the first one, and I also don't worry about these lines. I don't remember actually these lines. Uh, I just uh, open Google and I type a virtual host, and there is a tons of examples that you can use a, as a template, and I copy all these lines, I paste it in here, and I change whatever you need to change. In my case, I'm just gonna you know, explain the important lines here. The first line that you need to consider is the ser server name, right? So if I type, in my case, otokomai.mrhybp.com into my browser, it will represent whatever I have in this path, bar www, uh, basically my web page for this domain, okay? So it's important to set the name of your domain and where and tell Apache where is your web design or your, all the web pages that you want to represent into your web browser. 
everything else uh, this is for running CGI into my Apache and also you know if it's some mistakes some errors uh, it will keep a database here in the in those files access uh, access log and error logs okay basically it's really simple you will see that it's a tons of example that is more complicated according with with your uh, specific uh, configuration but don't worry about that now is I just telling you what is the basic things to run in Apache okay and I'm just gonna open the other one as you can see I changed for uh, Kaltura you know the server name and also change the path so I just create a really small index file just to 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 represent the difference between typing Kaltura Mr. White dot com and typing uh, WW Mr. White dot com okay and also if you see the other one I name an alias here so in in my case I can uh, or oh, I, I will be able to type Otokomae instead than www or you know using whatever I, I want to use it, the, my alias okay once you finish these two files we need to link it to the other folder which is sites enable so what I mean you can create here so many configuration files like a thousand configuration files but Apache only will take whatever you set into the other folder so in Ubuntu and Linux Mint they have a special command I don't know why to run in a link for you which is this command and site and the name of your it takes the, uh, as an entry the name of your uh, of your configuration file so you type this command press enter and it will link your file to the other folder which is sites enable so if you don't believe me let's see what is inside uh, sites enable Okay. Uh, oh, sites enable. So this this is a symbolic line to the other folder, right? So sites available and then the name of the file. So basically, you can do this by by yourself by using the the next common line. But I don't know why uh, Ubuntu and and Linux Mint provide this the other command. So it's good to use it so after this uh, I need to explain other thing here that all these all these uh, folders Kaltura, CGIV and they are running under the folder bar and bar belongs to root so Apache basically running under the the user Apache which doesn't have any permissions to create folders under the the folder bar so be, just make sure that all this, these folders exist before you restart Apache right so just check this one quickly if I go to bar at WW you will see that I create Kaltura and Mr. Y myself and also inside of, of these folders I create logs and CGI myself okay so once you do that just restart Apache uh, and if everything goes perfect you don't have any you know typing errors or whatever you will see here OK which is Apache is running perfect and then let's test Apache okay, I'm gonna be open my web server here in my windows I wanna type www.mrwhybp.com and also I have auto auto comai Mr. White BP .com. You remember I, I made an alias, and then also I have Kaltura Mr. White BP .com. Okay. So in this case there is an alias, and this one they respond the other content of the website. Okay. So at this time I have two domains running to different contents okay guys thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon bye bye adios